The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday morning, it is the ninth day of June, and um, it feels nice out here. 64 degrees, relatively low humidity. Uh, my name is Rich. There's my trusty dog, Bailey by my side here and uh, we've got some heat to talk about not so much today today will be a little hotter but uh, the, uh, the humidity will be relatively tolerable over the weekend though we start to see higher humidity and higher temperatures too we'll talk about that your forecast updated for here in the beaches and we'll look ahead and see if the rain chances are gonna get any better over the next few days you see that stationary front on the map uh, south of Pensacola in Panama City? That is separating the muggy air down in Florida from the lower humidity air that we're enjoying right now. Boy, I'll tell you what, what a difference. And by the way, speaking of Florida, the National Hurricane Center is uh, tracking a little disturbance between Florida and Cuba, moving northeastward uh, that they're, they got their eyes on, but look, the chances of development are very small. So you got the rain down in Florida, tropical rains, and in the Midwest, but dr- most of us are dry and warmer today. 94 is your high. Sunny with relatively low humidity again this afternoon. Tonight's low 67. North winds at about 4 to 8 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the big upper level heat wave high is building up at 20,000 feet. And not just for us, but for uh, many areas out in the heartland of the U.S. where there could be some record highs over the next few days. For us tomorrow, a hotter day, mainly dry. I see a couple of showers down towards the coast. Saturday, upper 90s. Could be a stray shower around. I put rain chances in under 20% and around 20% on Sunday with another hot day and again upper 90s. That wouldn't be a record by the way. The records are around 100. Scattered afternoon relief on Monday. Scattered meaning about a 30% chance. So over the next few days we'll say 96 tomorrow after today's 94. 97 Saturday and Sunday. 96 on Monday with rain chances starting to pick up in the early uh, in the afternoon hours as we get into the early part of next week. Down on the beach, can't rule out a few showers. I've got the rain chances in at 20% on Saturday and Sunday, but, you know, most of the time dry. Upper 80s, Gulf water temperature up to a season high now of 84. Moderate rip current risk today down at the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City. Here's the, uh, the European out 10 days showing uh, temperatures peaking Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then it shows a few scattered showers along the way um, here and there next week, and including a better chance next late next week around Friday and Saturday. This is the GFS out 16 days. The numbers are crazy again. Too high. You know, it prints out 101 uh, Friday. That's not going to happen. It prints out 100 on Saturday, Sunday. That's not going to happen. The point is it's going to be very hot for the next few days right on through the middle and latter part of next week. That's the part you should watch, the trends. So, yeah, we're enjoying this uh, somewhat tolerable weather uh, while we can. Be, well, but you know that's going to change here as we get deeper into the month of June and uh, into that long, hot summer ahead. I'll have an update for you from the Blue Water Weather Center at 11 o'clock this morning at richthomasweathernetwork.com. I'll be live on radio this morning on um, News Talk 93.1 at 6 and also on Baba Country and Kiss FM and my forecast throughout the day on the 8th station radio group, which is Blue Water Broadcasting. Plus, your next video will be online by tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. I hope you have a great day today, and I'll see you in the morning, okay? Rich Thomas Weather.